On March 23rd, 2013, after hanging with some friends at the Keen Activist Center, I decided to roll out. Unbeknownst to me, about 100 feet away, Leslie Collier, an employee of the Keene Police Department, was at that time placing a ransom note on my Tahoe. When I saw it, my initial thought was of the adage, answer fools with silence. So I didn't read the ransom note. It remained untouched under my windshield wiper for a couple of days as I drove around town. But after talking with some friends, I decided to address it, simply because I recognized it as a death threat. I stopped by the headquarters of the Keene Police Outfit. While there, I saw a box where many unthinkingly pay ransoms that they received from Collier and his comrades. Such action only perpetuates and sets the stage for more such legal shakedowns. I instead communicated that I wasn't going to fund the criminal outfit, argued that I shouldn't have to pay that ransom, so... And I was told to appear in legal land on May 1st. 9 o'clock in the morning, Keene District Court, and it's for uh, nighttime parking. Yep. Right, I had a motion here to fast track this. I granted that yesterday. I didn't see it till yesterday. And then there was a motion to dismiss, which I denied. You may have a, a reason to ask to have it dismissed at trial, but the pretrial wouldn't be appropriate to dismiss it. So I denied that motion. I want to set you up for a trial date today. Okay. Is it possible to just go through with it today? I mean, I don't think my stance will change between now and then. It's a $15 ransom, and I like I don't plan to pay the this organization so if if, if y'all you know want to throw me in the cage for a couple hours or a day or whatever it is well, it's, I'd it's, rather I, just I, I get it done that, that's not in back. front of me right now I mean I don't believe there was any victim but per y'all's ordinance that you're going to point to I understand, I, I understand your position I guess, I guess but, but but from the court's perspective all I'm here to do is set the date if there's something else that you I'm now told to return on August 19th do you believe this process is about justice if not, then as best you can, stop granting it allegiance. Essentially what I'm doing is damage control. If I had just ignored the ransom, the amount demanded would increase. Next would be more frequent and different methods of contact. And eventually, some active with the same criminal organization may claim to be justified as they attempt to kidnap and cage my person. Were I to resist, they might initiate lethal force and claim to be immune. And for what? Collier's ransom note said that I had disobeyed an alleged ban on parking on public streets overnight during the winter. I certainly don't grant to Collier and the rules he cites any authority simply because they're claimed. The removal of the snow wasn't an issue on that night in question. There was no victim. Gene Kilme communicated otherwise in a response to my motion to dismiss. The defendant alleged that there was no victim. The state objects. Does that suffice? As we each conclude that we shouldn't apologize for actions that harm no one, and that we don't owe a debt to make some fictitious entity whole, the sooner we will live in a community free from individuals who claim the right to initiate force. So we'll see what happens. If the threat levied against me isn't dropped, I expect to spend half a day or a day in a cage. Hopefully it'll get some folks to think, and at least I know I'm being true to my conscience.